Rinpoche, please talk a little about empowerment. Okay, empowerment. I think that's a good um, question. So I'm going to answer to you what is the meaning of empowerment. So in our level of understanding of the empowerment, I think that's a... And that's something that I can tell you within my own capacity and not something I'm pretending with, you know. So uh, the general, the meaning of the empowerment means that, you know, empowering, you know, empowering ourselves with great clarity and um, great wisdom and emptiness all inseparably together together and that is the ultimate empowerment you know so all the deities empowerment is all related to that you know it's all that um so you know when we think about the empowerment we often think that you know oh i want to go there receive blessings uh yes that is very true you know we go there receive blessing but the blessing the reality of the blessing really comes down to your perception if you are very close-minded you know and then uh, how do i say no matter how many times you receive empowerment then it will become meaningless and if you have a great preparation you know a great understanding of meaning of life the meaning of impermanence the meaning of suffering the meaning of samsara then if you have a how do i say a broader understanding and then you know if you receive an empowerment even one you know then it will be enough for the rest of your life um and if you uh you know if you're looking for public recognition to show to other people and say oh look at me i received so many empowerment from this tradition that tradition this tradition this tradition that tradition and if you want to show off to other people of course you know if that is your kind of your intention deep down in your mind then and none of the empowerment can actually liberate you or help you you know so the the meaning of the empowerment means empowering ourselves with the great wisdom with the great clarity and with the how do i say with the sense of reflection of the of uh, of the of the buddha and bodhisattvas you know so i think that's the the basic understanding that we all need to have because you know when we think about empowerment you know often of us you know we think of as a how do i say that we have no responsible uh, you know we have no responsibility we think that we just go there offer a one piece of envelope and offer a card and then we say oh you know i want to receive empowerment now i receive empowerment now i'm happy and that's a how do i say that's a uh that's a one problem okay second problem is desperately you know uh wanting to receive many empowerment as possible and then eventually over time you telling yourself and you telling other people oh if i have to receive this empowerment i have to do practice i cannot do practice um uh you know and then if i have to do this uh, empowerment if i have to receive this empowerment and then i have to you know do many daily practice and i can't do the daily practice and then almost getting into the idea a little bit like a book collection you know so if you have that kind of understanding or that kind of perception towards the empowerment that is also equally meaningless so therefore uh it's not about which empowerment you receive it's more about your own preparation first you know the greater the preparation that you do the lesser the empowerment that you need to receive because your mind is pure you know when your mind is not pure if your mind is a little bit like oh you know, how do i say oh that rinpoche this rinpoche is giving empowerment but ultimately who knows what knows you know i don't know maybe the lineage is not really authentic maybe the empowerment is not there maybe the blessing is not there you know having a lot of doubt generally having many doubt is good to protect yourself to find the right answer it's good but having a doubt as a philosophy of life that is not good you know having a general doubt about your study about your lineage about your tradition about your practice about your culture about life having doubt is good 
you know, to help you to bring more sense of clarity. But the moment you bring this kind of doubt, a little bit like your mental attitude into everything, then it becomes an issue, it becomes a problem. So, so therefore, you need to have a, you know, somehow not a balance, but rather a genuine path, you know, not to the, not to the point where we go as a little bit like a circus, you know, oh, uh, oh, today there's a circus over there. Let's pay some money. Let's uh, let's collect some sweet. Let's play some. How do I say the fake gun? You know, let's shoot some arrow. You know, and then oh, we got a trophy. Let's go back home. You know, and then if you have that kind of a perception, a little bit like oh, I want to receive this empowerment home, a good fortune, nothing else, good fortune. You know, and if you have that kind of a very limited perception, then it becomes a problem over time. Um, and then the other extreme problem is that where you become very collective, you know, oh, I want to receive this empowerment, I haven't received this empowerment, I want to receive this empowerment, ah, oh, this lineage is good, this lineage is wrong, and then pointing finger and everything. And then, you know, when you receive every all the empowerment, then you tell other students, other practitioners, oh, look at me, I received this one, I received that one, I received this one. And if you have that kind of a mindset, then the, 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 the very purpose of empowering you you know it's lost so therefore we have to find the true not balance but the true path and that true path is has to come with a greater preparation you know like an example um you know having an understanding of uh, you know in tibetan we call it you know understanding of the karmic connection you know, not just a, a theory in your head, but rather having a genuine acceptance from the heart. Not some kind of uh, acceptance of, oh yeah, other people accepting, I'm accepting it too. Not that kind of a light acceptance, but rather pure acceptance from the heart. And then having acceptance to the meaning of impermanence. Having a true acceptance to the meaning of the reality of the suffering. You know, so if you have this kind of a broad understanding, and then when you receive any teaching, any empowerment, you know, it will become really helpful and it will become the key to a liberation, you know. Otherwise, if you become collective, you know, or the less collective, but, you know, less commitment at the same time, and then the other side is extreme commitment and at the same time unable to do anything, you know. So if you have that kind of, uh, how do I say, mindset about the empowerment then it's wrong empowerment is not there to give you a miracle the empowerment is there to give you example so that you visualize along with your instructor uh, how to visualize the mandala how to carry on with your positive intention how to carry on with the dedication how to carry on with the creation how to transmit all the radiance and all the syllable, all the body, speech and mind of the Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, uh, you know, that is within the, the deities inseparably as one, not separate, but as one, and then being devoted to that mandala, and then receiving a blessing, you know, based on devotion, compassion, generosity, and sense of content all together. You know, so all these putting together, you know, combined together is empowerment. Empowerment is not having an object that is putting on your crown, you know, under no circumstances. You know, I mean, uh, if you look at the, if you look at the, how do I say, um, if you look, if you study the empowerment, basically, if you study the empowerment, Every single empowerment is same, you know, every single empowerment is same, you know, the, basically the principle, the principle starts with the refuge, the bodhicitta, the samaya, there's no such as a blindly following to the guru under any circumstances, okay, there's absolutely zero, you know, blind following to the guru, you know, there's simply sense of genuine quality from your side, 
and having a sense of gratitude, offering a mandala, seeking for the Dharma to be transmitted towards you, and then you receive these teachings and this transmission, you know, so-called, that you know, how do I say the transmission? Basically, the transmission is uh, receiving the instruction of the visualization of the mandala itself, and then Sometime it can be as simple as a deity of yourself and the visualizing a deity in a font, or it can be sometimes it can be a vast mandala, you know, and sometimes it can be a five mandala, sometimes it can be several mandalas, you know. So depending on to a different uh, deity practice, you know. So depending into that, and then and then there's a how do I say? the external empowerment, internal empowerment, and then the secret empowerment, and then there's the absolute empowerment. So empowerment is not just simply a one vast of bumpa touching your head. You know, so having if you have these understanding, then you understand the whole concept about the empowerment. So basically the conclusion is the empowerment, you know, uh, is a simply uh, how do I say instructing the you know who is a practitioner right you are instructing the practitioner how to maintain the visualization how to maintain the uh, how do i say uh, you are mandala basically uh, and then you as a practitioner being you know uh, completely with full of gratitude and then you're seeing that as a genuine refuge and then over time, with the less and less duality of mind, and then you recognize the nature of mind emptiness. So the meaning of recognizing the deity is not the ultimate goal. It is a temporary goal, but we have to cherish as the ultimate goal. So that's something very important to keep in mind. All the deity practice is a temporary purpose, but we have to practice as if it is the ultimate solution with that mind with the pure mindset and then gradually you know you will reach to the state of non-duality over time not because you know it that you will reach there you will reach there because of your capacity of your realization you know so if your desire can reach everywhere then that is simply not the fact anymore right Everybody want to be many things in life, but still we are reluctant reluctant to reach what we where we want to reach, right? So just like that, in our spiritual level of understanding, in the dharmic understanding, you know, there's a how does it there's a gradual approach, you know, the gradual approach, and then with the sense of patience, with the sense of awareness combined together, so it's very important. That's one of the most important principle. Okay, so.